Remember to subscribe to Bad Bank's YouTube channel for easy access to all our how-to and inspirational videos. Welcome to Bad Bank's video where we prepare data for taxes in six minutes by combining statements from two credit cards and one checking account into a single expense report. In this video, we process three different February statements, one for an Apple credit card, one for a Wells Fargo checking account, and one for a Chase Visa, and we use Bad Bank to get all the way to a nice, clean expense report that looks like this. We just ran the three statements for February. Bad Bank has named this group 1E4E5, and after we export that group, we will rename this output folder Feb 24 First Run because we know we are going to reprocess to get modified output, and it's best to keep things organized. We can see that we have three different top-level CSV files because Bad Bank creates group output at this level by account number. If we had run 12 statements for each of these three accounts, there would still be three top-level group combined CSV files, one for each account, but each file would have all 12 months of transactions inside them instead of just one month. Now we will open up the rename directive file in Excel to make the naming changes that we want. Here is what the original rename directive file looks like. I will type into the second column the new names. I want Becky's Cleaning to be Office Services, File Stack to be Technology Services, Office Max is Office Supplies and so is Staples. Starbucks is Office Services. The state liquor store was for a party, so we'll call that Office Entertainment. This is Business Supplies. These two things are charity donations that we made. Smith's Groceries was actually Office Supplies. Netflix is Office Services as we make that available in the lunchroom. Dr. Smiley's dental should not be counted. That's an owner's expense. Down here, we know that these were deposits. This was a credit card payment. This was a transfer. This check was written to John Smith. This check was written to Mary Smith, and here's the return of that check. So those are the things that we want to be renamed. So we're going to save this renamed CSV file exactly where it was before, with exactly the same name and as a CSV file type. Now we go back to Bad Bank and select those same three original February statements. And we will also now select more and upload our rename directive file in the same group. We upload them all to reprocess them together. Bad Bank is now reprocessing those three February statements and taking our direction from the rename directive file to modify the new output. Now let's download this new group export. Let's rename this folder Final Run Feb 24 and open up the first top level CSV. Now we are going to import the other two CSV files so that we get all the February transactions into one Excel sheet. Let's put our cursor right here at the bottom of this first set of transactions. Now we will use import, and we are importing a CSV. Make sure delimited is checked and choose next. Now make sure comma is checked and choose next, then finish, then import. And confirm the location. Now we can see the next set of transactions, and we can see also that the renaming that we directed the AI to perform has been done. Now we import the third statement transactions with the same process. Let's repeat the import process for the third set of February transactions. We place our cursor at the bottom of the list that we have so far. We choose import from the drop down menu. Then we select the final file that we want to add to this list. We make sure that delimited is checked and we check the box next to the word comma. Then click next. Then click Finish and finally click on Import and the data will be added to our list. We can see the reconciliation details of each statement if we need them. And we can see that all three statements, the Apple Card by Goldman Sachs, the Chase Visa Card, and the transactions from the Wells Fargo checking account are all here. And they have been renamed according to our renamed directive file. Now that we have all three statements transactions in the same spreadsheet, we just have a few simple things to do to create a nice clean expense report. First, insert a new column and call it Expense. Now, write the formula that is on the screen into the blank cell in the first transaction row. We are doing this because we have combined a checking account with two credit card accounts, and the signs on the amounts are often opposite. You have to check the logic to make sure. For example, in the checking account, I spent $150 with John Smith, and that amount has a minus sign in front of it. But on a credit card, an expenditure is going to be a positive number. So we will use this formula to flip the sign on amounts so that we can get a meaningful total of expenses. Now I'm going to copy that formula down the whole column. We will see that it doesn't change any of the signs for the credit card transactions, but it does for the checking account. So now to make the data a little bit cleaner to look at, I'm going to highlight the whole thing by clicking in that corner box in the top left of the spreadsheet. 
I'm going to sort the data by two things. First, I'm going to sort by the fit ID because I know that I want to isolate actual transactions and only actual transactions have fit IDs. I'm also going to add a second sorting row of the date. So now all the actual transactions that I need for my report are all up at the top and sorted by date. Because of the way we sorted, all of the extra header rows and the reconciliation rows are all down at the bottom. And you can either delete these rows or leave them there if you wanted to refer to them later for some reason. To create the expense report, simply highlight the group of transactions and from the top menu choose insert and then the pivot table icon. Because we highlighted the transactions, Excel already knows the range for the data and confirms if you want to put your pivot table in a new worksheet tab in your workbook. Having pivot tables in their own worksheet tabs keeps things well organized. Now to create a simple expense report, we select the expense and the payee and drag the payee over to this box called rows. We leave the expenses field in the values box as that is what will be summed. And voila, here's our simple expense report which combines February transactions from three different accounts. You can do this with as many statements as you like, but you should practice with just a few at first to get the hang of it. We invite you to subscribe to Bad Bank's YouTube channel for easy access to even more inspirational videos.